Hey MC, that's Ryan Christ. You're probably familiar with the iRobot Roomba line of robot vacuums, but iRobot actually makes a ton of cleaning products. They make the Scuba, the Roomba, and also this Brava. This is the Brava 380T. It's not a vacuum, it won't suck things up into a bin, but it does have cleaning pads that you can stick onto it, like this dry one or this microfiber wet one. So you can do wet cleaning or dry cleaning with this thing. Taking a look at the design of the Brava, it's small, it's lightweight, easy to use, easy to manage. It's got this handle in the back, so you can just grab it from the back and pick it up like that. I don't love the handle, though. I wish it was in a different location because the Brava uses this vertical charger, so you'll set it down on the same side as the handle. You can't use the handle to pick it up then, and when you're setting it down, if you're carrying it like this, you have to flip it over anyway. So it's kind of inconvenient. I wish it was on the top or some other place where it didn't get in the way of the docking process. Another problem I have with the Brava is that it has to be in this vertical dock. It's not a dock like the Roomba that the Roomba will automatically find its way back to. You have to start it and when it's done you have to put it back. In our test, I found that the dry cleaning cloth that comes with the Brava wasn't terribly effective for dust type particles. We spread some cornstarch over a floor to get an approximation of a really dusty floor and then set the Brava loose on dry sweeping mode. And you can see the floor looks pretty clean as it goes about, but all of that white cornstarch just really gets pushed to the side. However, when we switched over to the wet mopping mode and repeated that test, the Brava did much better. We also tried using the Brava to clean more messy messes, things like pasta sauce and mud and splattered oil stains. The Brava did okay, but mostly it just smeared things around, especially on tile where it's really smooth. On the ceramic tile we tested, it just didn't clean much of it up and it left a lot of it behind in the grout. That said, on vinyl surfaces, the Brava did pretty well. We spread mud all over the place and if you take a look at the pictures before and after, almost spotless, did a very good job in this test. The iRobot Brava 380T retails for $300, and that's considerably less than the Roomba 880, and also less than the iRobot Scuba, their other floor washing robot. That said, the cleaning performance of the Brava didn't blow me away, it was just so-so, and it varied greatly from surface to surface. So, unless you have one of those surfaces that it does particularly well on, I say pass and wait for something else. For CNET, I'm Ryan Christ.